In this video, we look at the Born-Oppenheimer approximation, a broadly valid simplification that allows us to separate the motions of nuclei and electrons in a molecule. A molecule is an assembly of at least two nuclei and at least one electron, so at least three particles total. It is impossible to solve the Schrodinger equation for molecules exactly. The Born-Oppenheimer approximation allows us to simplify the situation. The reasoning is as the following. The mass of a nucleus, m nuc, is much larger than the mass of an electron, m e l. Therefore, in a molecule, nuclei generally move very much slower than electrons. So the velocity of the nuclei is much smaller than the velocity of the electrons. A simple analogy would be a group of hikers that represents the nuclei and the swarm of mosquitoes that represent the electrons. To the mosquitoes, the hikers appear almost stationary, and to the hikers, the mosquitoes appear completely delocalized. In the Born-Oppenheimer approximation, we decouple the motions of the nuclei from those of the electrons, making two assumptions. A. From the point of view of the electrons, we treat the nuclei as frozen and fixed in space. B, from the point of the nuclei, we treat the electrons as completely delocalized or smeared out. The mathematical consequence of this simplification is that we can write the overall wave function as a single product. The overall wave function is uppercase psi of uppercase r1, uppercase r2, and so on and lowercase r1, lowercase r2, and so on. Uppercase r are the nuclear coordinates, and lowercase r are the electron coordinates. With the Born-Oppenheimer approximation, we can write this as a single product of a nuclear wave function, psi nuc of r1, r2, and so on, times an electronic wave function, psi el, of lowercase r1, lowercase r2, and so on. This is the Born-Oppenheimer approximation. The nuclear wave function itself is a product of a translational function, a rotational function, and a vibrational function. So, psi nuc equals psi t for the translational function times psi r for the rotational function times psi vib for the vibrational function. We abbreviate the set of all nuclear coordinates with uppercase r and the set of all electronic coordinates with lowercase r. The consequence of writing the wave function as a single product is that the overall Schrodinger equation can be separated. The overall Schrodinger equation is h hat operating on psi equals e times psi. It separates into a nuclear Schrodinger equation. which is h hat nuc function of uppercase r operating on psi nuc uppercase function of uppercase r equals e nuc function of uppercase r times uppercase psi nuc of r. And it separates into an electronic Schrodinger equation, which is h hat el function of r and uppercase r operating on psi el function of lowercase r and uppercase r equals e el electronic energy which is a function of r times psi el function of lowercase r and uppercase r the nuclear schrodinger equation contains the nuclear wave function and the nuclear energy they only depend on the nuclear coordinates r which are variables We use the nuclear Schrodinger equation to describe the translation, rotation, and vibrations of a molecule. In contrast, the electronic Schrodinger equation contains both the nuclear and the electron coordinates. The electron coordinates are variables. The nuclear coordinates are uppercase r, however, 
are just constants. They enter the equation as fixed parameters. By choosing certain values for the nuclear coordinates, we choose a defined molecular geometry. Indeed, it is only at the level of the Born-Oppenheimer approximation that it makes sense to talk about molecular structure at all. We use the electronic Schrödinger equation to describe electronic motion within the molecule. Solving it, we find the ground and excited electronic states of the molecule and their energies. In summary, the Born-Oppenheimer approximation utilizes the differences of masses and velocities of nuclei and electrons. It separates the motions by treating nuclei as fixed and electrons as smeared out. The wave function in the Born-Oppenheimer approximation is a single product of a nuclear and an electronic wave function. And lastly, in the electronic wave function, the nuclear coordinates enter as fixed parameters, specifying the structure of the molecule.